Spring is coming, people. It's time to pot your echiums on if you've been growing them inside all winter like me. So I'm thinking I'm going to give it at least twice as much space. Hopefully it's not going to stab me because I've got hands like a piece of paper. I think I might be okay. Oh God, I hope it doesn't savage me. So yeah, it's almost warm enough outside. I might put them outside a bit starting tomorrow. And then for the foreseeable, it looks quite good. Oh, I'm going to put some gloves on. This is going to hurt me. Ekiums are vicious, you know. Like someone once told me that you can grab a nettle by the stem and pull it out and it won't hurt you. That was a lie. That was a dirty lie because I grabbed it. I don't know why I was that stupid, but I believed him. And I did it. And oh my God, my fingers have never... They didn't feel right for a full day or more. So, me and Echiums, I ain't taking no chances. Now, someone said... That you can bury these deeper so I might try doing that because they get all lanky might just cover the bottom slightly with soil and then fill it up to the top with the cotton I've got quite a few of these. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you it all. Just this one for now. I had one, just one Eki and Pinny Nana last year. And for some reason it just suddenly died. It was bigger than me. And then it just died just before it was going to flower. I was so sad. So I've got quite a few this time. And I am feeling hopeful. Maybe I won't put them in the ground. It was really dry summer, I know. But I was watering it a lot. But maybe if I keep them in pots. Big ones. Maybe they'll be better. I don't know. I don't know why it didn't like me. But yeah, I'll do them all and then I'll show you. I don't know. I've got some dishes outside for them to sit in, I think. But yeah, it should get flying away now. I might stick them in the sunshine for a bit since it's nice today. So that's all the eccums potted on. These ones, these are the Ecchi and Pinny Nanas, and then these ones here, and that one, they were meant to be Ecchiums, and they look like a type of Ecchium, but not the one I ordered. So, that will be a surprise, that one. Be fun. Next mission, I tried sowing some evening primrose. I sprinkled seeds on all of them, but these are the only ones that came alive. So I'm going to pop them on next, I'm just going to pop them out with my little pokey stick. Oh, that's a funny bugger. And then stick him in here. put them outside tomorrow when it's warmer and they should have a right good time. 
I have got some more seeds as well. I'll do in a bit. I'm almost sure that T-Rex has grown more since the other day. So that's the evening primrose potted on. Next, I'm going to do some seeds, I think. So I saw these on telly last year. Rose Campion. And they looked really good. It was like a space filler. Just to make it look more exciting. So I'm just going to chuck a few of these in this tray and get them going. Hopefully they'll do something. Probably could have done this on two trees actually, but maybe I'll put this bit outside. See what happens. Clump of mealies in there is monstrous. I'll have to do some mauling on that as well. I'll take that in the kitchen. what it is. Does it remind you of anything? I'm going to try and make a bigger one of these. I think it looks quite cool. Kind of funny. It's just called a blue something cactus, isn't it? And these are them baseball cactus. But yeah, let's go try and make another one. First of all, this one needs a bit of a chop though, because it's too too lanky and you can see that fluff right there. Look at it all, it's everywhere. So I'm going to chop it up, pull off some leaves, wet it a bit, and then I'm going to spray them with some bug killer. Got my little snippers I used in my last video where I mould them I'm gonna 
do it again. So the last time I pulled these leaves off, I thought it might grow a new plant and it didn't. But I don't know whether that was because they were too small. Just gonna get a tray to catch all the crap. So I'm gonna chuck all the bits in and then just throw it in the flower bed. Mealy books can go and live outside. The swines. Yeah, I might keep a few of the big leaves and see if they'll grow into another type of this is a this is a kiwi aeonium. But the little leaves didn't work last time I had a go, so I'll just keep a few big ones and see. I'm just gonna chop this, look at all of the fluff on there. gonna focus but you can see it there's loads of it so I'll just squish the end of it in case there's anyone living on there I'll just take one more leaf and then I'll just leave them on the side until I've cleared it of bogs and off. Take all the dead leaves away. Might just spray the top of the soil before I put everything back in. This is a lily, I think, that just planted it. Like, I tried growing it from seed. It didn't like me. And then decided it did like me all of a sudden. It must did. So maybe I'll try and transfer them to a different pot but they'll probably just die again but it's worth a go in it yeah a lot not much root but i'll pot in into somewhere else and see i've got two of them in here Looks promising. I can't see any mealy bugs on here. They just seem to like the succulents, don't they, more because they're more juicy. So, I'm gonna take this bit. see a mealy bug in here as well. Quite a big one. So I'm about to ruin his day. Let's see if I can show you. Look at him. See there where my finger's pointing. The end of my fingernail. 
can't can't focus on it for some reason. But anyway, he's a mocky little shit. Let's ruin his day. literally just a giant mealy house I might just leave all that muck on there because it's probably got mealies on it so yeah so I'm gonna keep just a few of these bigger ones in case they do something but I don't know if they will I'll put them in a little tray or something later. And then the mealies could be hiding in the top of this muck. So I might just take the top layer off. Maybe I should take all of it. I might just throw it all. Yeah, I'm just going to chuck this outside. So I've put some fresh mock in here and I'm going to just plop them back in. I've got a big one in the middle. And they'll grow longer before you know it again. View. What can I put it on? There we go. Sat it on a bowl. So I'll just dot them round until I run out. I'll put the second biggest one here with the little one pointing outwards so it doesn't get crowded out by the others. This one here. This one here. And I don't think there's any mealies on them now, but I'll just give it a little blast of bug spray perhaps just in case there's any tiny ones I can't see I'm 
might just chop this one off and put it in the ground by itself. A lot better. Damn, I just stabbed it with my stick. Oh well. Should I take this one out? Got one little one on there. I'm gonna take this piddly one. Put his next to his. Uh, Put it next to his piddly little friend. He does not want to go in that mug. Get in there. And then we'll make a hole there. Stick this one over here. It looks nice and strong. And it looks better already. Drink and a spray and stick him back on the windowsill somewhere. Nice. I'm gonna just put the lilies in a pot together because they never seem to live with me, but I'm gonna give it another go. I'll just make a little hole in the middle and poke them in. And fingers crossed. They'll survive. Be nice. I'll just put a bit of mom muck on there. So that's him. I'm not going to hold my breath. But we'll give it a go. I don't see any bugs. I think he'll be alright. If he wants to live. Next is the important part. So we've got this weird shaped pot thing. And I'm gonna put this and this either side of that great big one over here. I need to fish it out. And not stab myself to bits. Oh, this is why I don't like cactus. But it does look really awesome. I mean, could you imagine? These sat either side of that. It'd be bloody hilarious. Oh, God. I've got some gloves. But I think they've already got spines inside them. I might try a new pair, but I don't know if they'll work. They've got rubber on the fingers, so it might, but I've never tried. I don't know how I'm going to fish it out, mind. Snap. Yeah, I just need to fish the gravel and the stuff away from the edge of it. And he's been in here for so many years. I don't even know how big his roots are or anything. Just put that in the bottom of that pot. Why not? soil 
I'm getting the soil ready. Put it about halfway up. Filled it back halfway ish. So if I do get it out, I can just put it straight in. Oh god, I hope I don't hurt myself. I don't know how big his roots are gonna be though. And can I put something else back in there instead of that? Like it does look nice, but I think it'll look better in a pot by himself. I don't know. What can I put in it instead? Anything fun? I do need to put all my cactus in one place. I might go get a bunch of the crappy ones, the little crappy ones, and then they can all go in together. Good. The more muck I get, the more stable it will be then. When I, you know, I'm gonna just move this gravel to one side. Don't rush into it. I have been looking for one to use, but I'm not seeing one that I liked enough. So I'm just going to use what I've got until I eventually do find one I like. Or I'm going to go make another one. Look at all them spikies. I think it's quite moist. I did water it not long ago. Probably just over overwatered it and it's dead already. Been my look. Oh, I can see some roots. fill that in for now and think about that one a bit later so I've got him out and he's just plopped there for now let's see what the roots on this one looks like I think this one's going to be less terrifying I'm gonna try and put him in this now. Oh, he's got roots all the way to the bottom. I don't think I'll mess with him then. That's good. In a way, but then the one that's in this part, 
it's a lot bigger. So the first two are going to be probably okay. And then it'll get messy. I might just take a bit of this muck out. Just to make it a bit lower. I don't think he'll be too mad if I just scruffle a bit off. Not too much though. It's starting to break up. Oh god. I hope this looks good when I've done it. I've got a plan in my head. Now it's going to be good. You know, if you're a dirt guy like me, it's going to be hilarious. Right, I'm just going to squish this one out. See what his roots are like. At least these bally ones aren't prickly. Yeah, his roots are a lot smaller than the other one. Because he probably should have been in a smaller pot. But what you get in this house. To use a little brush to like clean them a bit. Hopefully that one's not gonna impale the two little God, imagine when this grows too big. That's gonna be a right laugh getting that out again, isn't it? Savage. Oh, I'm stabbing it. Alright, stop moving it now. Or I'm just gonna... This one's got spines stabbed into it because I'm wiggling it around. Right. I'm just gonna fill it, I think. Um, where's that spoon gone? I might just use the spoon to fill the holes. I'll, uh, Finish filling and then I'll show you when I'm done. Can you guess what it is here? Yeah. It just looks like a nice display as well as a dick. But it looks better than it did. So I'm gonna some shells on it next to make it look cute. I'll show you when I've finished. Well, most people might think I'm a dirtbag for making this, but I think it looks wicked. Go on, tell me how much do you think someone would pay for that? It is cute and rude. I can't say it don't look cute. I love it. Who wants to see my new plan? Well, I didn't buy it, but I made it. Can you guess what it is? What does it remind you of? I made a little one as well. Well, I hope you stay till the end. Oh. I guess I've accidentally set my fairy lights off. Oh no, they're not flashing, it's just on the camera. But yeah, I've, uh, I think I've done gardening today. I've finished my new cactus. And this is a mini version of it. I might go and have a brew now. What do you think? Did you like my new cactus? Go on, tell me. Tell me you liked it. Oh, it's nice. 